All right, here we are. We're going to put you on the bag a little bit now. Now, you may not have a bag, but I'm giving you this so that you can see the different ideas. So even if you don't have a bag right now, you can still do some of the movement that we're going to show you here today in the air. But again, it'll give you a good idea of the different movement that are available, of what you can do to really get yourself a good, good workout and get your heart going. So why don't I bring my friend William Cornell in here again. Thanks for being here again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put him on this bag a little bit. What I'd like you to do is move around. We showed the folks yesterday the left hand and the right hand. So move around the bag a little bit. Just hit in left, right. Good. The, the bag is great for, it's a weight. So you're pushing the weight. It giving, it's giving you resistance. It's working on your shoulder strength, your body strength. Good, and then relax for a second. Okay, and then let's uh, let's add on. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of jab, punch, hook, punch also. So now we're going to add a few more things for you. Notice as he's doing this, watch his, watch his hips. See how he turns his body. See, because again, it's all about body power. And that's why smaller people, doesn't matter your size, if you have good mechanics, it's amazing how hard you can hit something. And it's amazing what a good workout you can get. There we go. Good. And then let's relax. Good. All right. Now, let's do a little bit of kicking, too. Let's use your round kick. So your front leg round kick. That's, again, the one that, guys, comes from the side, like a door opening and swinging. We showed it to you on the wall. Just do a couple on just from a basic round kick from there, picking up and hitting the round kick. Now, notice how on everything, again, it's your hips leading. Notice how he's turning that bottom foot because the bottom foot turning allows the hip and the power to go through the bag. Gives him better base. Takes pressure off of his knee when he's kicking because if you don't turn that bottom foot, there's an awful lot of weight going on to that support knee. There you go. Good. Now let's do the same thing. Let's do that round kick and then let's add a hook punch to it. So round kick coming from the side, then the hook comes from the side also. Good, and then relax for a second. Good. Now here's one thing, folks, very important for you to remember that Mr. Cornell here has done this for a long time. He's 27 years old. He started doing this when he was almost 10 years old. So there's 17 years of experience and a lot of training that's gone into what he's accomplished. So again, don't worry if you're not doing it like he's doing it. We're just giving you some ideas. We're showing you the form. And then try it for yourself. But important again, especially if you haven't done this before, especially the kicking, take your time. Do it slow. Let your body get used to it. Let's, uh, let's lower the bag just a little bit. Can we do that? And we're going to just do the front leg front kick and just work on a very elementary, very simple kick. It's the one we showed you yesterday doing it slow. Now, when he's hitting the bag, he's going to pull his toes back. So he's hitting with the underneath ball part of the foot. Because if you hit with the tips of your toes, you're going to walk a little bit funny after that. So let's go ahead and do that again. Just, there you go. Just thinking about when you hit a target, you think about penetrating the target. You want your power to go through the target. There you go. And notice his hands when he kicks. His hands aren't flailing all over. His hands are protecting himself because if he were sparring with someone else who were trying to do the same to him, he'd want to be protected. So again, it's a good awareness of body position. Know what your body is doing. There, so a basic, basic front kick. Okay, and then let's relax. Excellent. All right, well, thank you. So again, folks, these are all ideas that you can try. Uh, whether you decide to use them or not, again, is up to you. But I can tell you this, that if you use the things, the tools that we're showing you, you will feel a difference in your body strength. You'll feel a difference in balance. You'll feel a difference in flexibility. You will feel better all around. And besides that, the things we're showing you here on the bag, the boxing, the kicking, these are good challenges. So it's always good to have something different so it's not always the same. So best of luck. We'll see you again tomorrow.